pericardiosynthesis complications. I hope your pericardiosynthesis procedures look nothing like this classic scene from Pulp Fiction in which John Travolta has to inject intracardiac adrenaline to Uma Thurman. Here we have the terrified operator, the unhelpful advisors and hangers-on who are watching for entertainment rather than to be helpful. Preparation is key to minimising the risks of complications from pericardiosynthesis and in normal circumstances I would quote at less than 2% risk from the procedure. There is a danger of puncturing or even lacerating the myocardium which may need surgery to fix it. There's a risk of serious vascular injury either to a coronary artery or to an intercostal artery, the internal mammary artery, or an intra-abdominal vascular structure which might need surgery to fix it. There's a risk of pneumothorax which is surprisingly small but certainly present and obviously usually very fixable. Hopefully the risk of air embolism is small. Uh, there's a risk of arrhythmia if you touch the heart and cause uh, irritation, irritability if you advance the wire into the heart and cause stretch to the chamber or if you cause damage to the coronary arteries and cause ischemic arrhythmias. There's a risk of damage to intra-abdominal organs in particular the liver but I would simply say intra-abdominal organs and there is a chance that the procedure is unsuccessful. So I would document on the consent form there's a risk of failure of the procedure. And of course, if we can't do this percutaneously, uh, surgically, it is a relatively straightforward procedure to perform. The risks of pericardial effusion are smaller the more fluid has accumulated. So emergency situations are technically much harder and carry higher risk. There's a relationship between the volume of pericardial fluid and the pressure that that exerts on the heart. And if the fluid gradually accumulates, you can get a stretching of the pericardium and a large amount of fluid before you start getting tamponade physiology. Whereas if the fluid rapidly accumulates, it will potentially cause tamponade with only a small volume of fluid. I did have a patient who over the course of a month went from a CT scan showing no pericardial effusion to a staging CT scan for lymphoma, which showed a three centimetre pericardial effusion and that patient was not in tamponade.